My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Boy, I tell you, whoever's been buying these cars lately has been doing a good job. This thing is slick. I mean, I don't need to tell you that. And it's got a pistol grip, it's got air, it's got a numbers match 340. It's a hot looking Barracuda. Visit volocars.com. You can check out all the pictures and description. You'll get the price, not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale at volocars.com. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll see the videos as they come out. Uh, if you click on the bell icon. So if you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. For right now, let's go for a spin in this 73 Barracuda. I drove the car home. It drove great. Something about, it's the pistol grip shifter and it was just perfect positioning. I had my arm there comfortably, your hand is right on it, just like click, click, click. It was just perfect. A minor detail, but it impressed me. Uh, the car is lower than normal, so the thing's been squatted down. It's got the rally wheels, but these are the modern version, 17 inch billet aluminum wheels with Michelin performance tires. Uh, they say there's 500 miles on the restoration of the car. It's a South Carolina car. They also claim it's all the original metal. It appears to be that way. And the more you look at the body, the, the better it gets. If you look at all the gaps, now everything is square and flush and lines up nice. Beautiful fit and finish all the way around, laser beam straight. You look across the roof, look down the sides, it is straight. Uh, I didn't see any bubbles, I just wiped the car down, I didn't see any cracks, no dents, no damage. Beautiful paint job. So it's got the sport CUDA hood, of course it has the AAR stripe, which just, I mean, pops on this car. No vinyl top, so it's just all slick jet black. Rear spoiler, uh, windshield looks new. The bumpers have been color matched to the car. The grill is blacked out. It has a correct antenna. I don't know if I said new windshield. The motor runs strong. The car drove great. I drove it home. It, it was just fantastic. So it's got a new air conditioning system. A lot of new components. The alternator still has a sticker on it. Uh, the motor looks fresh, has a Mopar aluminum intake with an Edelbrock carb. Components on the firewall look fresh. The whole engine bay was painted gloss black. It's got power brakes, uh, batteries bolted down, uh, just very proper. It has a fan shroud. The interior is very nicely restored. Door jams are slick, new weather strips, new window seals, all new panels front and back, all new upholstery. Uh, embroidered floor mats. Carpet doesn't look old, but it's a little faded, a little discolored. The dash pad is mint. It's, uh, it's a professionally restored dash pad, not a plastic cap or no one just glued vinyl over it. It's a uh, professionally restored dash pad. It's all blacked out. Got the bumper uh, blacked out. It's got the CUDA tips coming through the valance. I'm not sure what they got going on in here. Uh, there's an 1800 watt Kenwood amp. There's a CD changer. They built some like custom enclosure. Uh, bottom of the trunk is black and nice weather strips. Honestly, when I drove it, I don't remember if I even tried the stereo, but there is a Kenwood stereo in there. And it's got six by nine speakers, I can see. It's got the complete rally dash unit with the rally gauges. Um, this door panel's mint. Headliner was replaced. The two sail panels in back need to be tightened up a little bit. Center console, I think, might be new. Dome light works. Underneath the car is completely solid. Uh, the front end components don't look brand new, but the, the boots over the ball joints and the bushings and the tie rod ends, all that looks fresh. Uh, the VIN number does match on the motor to the car. The four-speed transmission they claimed was numbers matching, like the first four or five digits match the car. The last three, you can barely read them, and I can't tell if they match or not, but it's highly strange that five of them match dead on, so 
Uh, make of that what you will. Most people would call that a numbers matching transmission. We fire it up for you. It's got the new vintage air controls, which are nice electric slide levers instead of the old cables. Yeah, underneath the car is real solid. Got disc brakes in front. Yeah, it's definitely lowered. I can tell getting out, it's it's lowered. Only thing you're gonna need is a little microfiber rag and a little polish to keep the handprints off of it. Had a little belt squeal. So many of these cars do, but our shop can look at that. That's not a big deal. But yeah, I really ran, drove, shifted. I was very impressed with my test drive. I don't need to tell you again how sexy the car is. It's four speed with air. It's a numbers match. South Carolina car. It's just got a lot going for it. Why wouldn't you want this car? Visit volocars.com. Plenty of ways on there to contact my staff. They'll help answer any questions about the car, the process, delivery, financing. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thanks for watching.